What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Well, it's been a while, guys, since we've been here. And, well, we finally got around to training all the Pokemon to a good enough level. That way we can go through this whole, you know, area right here. So, in our last, last episode, you know, two episodes ago, we actually defeated the last gym leader right here in the Gala region. And now, it is finally time for us to move on to, I believe, uh, well, let's see. I'm looking at it, Route 10 and all that stuff. So now, let's go right ahead and go to the, tra the train station. Obviously, somebody is going to be waiting for us because, well, we can't do this alone. We really can't do this alone. And I'm a little, I'm a little iffy about, you know, going in, the, in, a, in, a, in, a, in kind of a, a, a train ride with this individual. Yeah, I have not forgotten my hate for, you know... This guy right here, Hop. What up, Draven? I'm coming too. I had beat, or I had Ray, or Ryan beat in no time. Once I got my head on straight and stopped doubting every decision I made, that's it. <laughs> okay, well, I haven't forgot about this guy. I really haven't. And well, there's Ryan. I bet you anything he let him win and all that crud. And you never stopped nattering on through the battle or through the entire battle. Can't even read again. Yeah, Draven still can't read, guys. I'm sorry. You're pretty different from the champion in that. But your strength is genuine, as proven by the Dragon Badge you won from me. You came to me with all force of a raging storm, and even I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Battle your way through the Champion Cup tournament to face Leon. Once of, uh, one of you ought to. <laughs> I reckon I'm still the favorite to win, but I'm up against the true rival Draven. So I'll ring out everything, or every last thing I learned during my battle with you, Ryan, to beat him. Huh. Well, you can try, but you'll die trying. So get a move on, Draven. The train's waiting. Alrighty, well, we've been waiting like about two months for this stuff, and well, it is finally time. So as you can see, guys, here we are in the train. We are headed to Route 10. And I guess we're listening to something, and, uh, well, kids nowadays like to go on their phones and do this and that. We're finally headed to uh, Winden. There's a lot I want to check out there. There's a big tower and a monorail. And the Winden, uh, Winden Stadium where the whole gallery, no, the whole world is going to be watching us. Look at that. I'm just not listening to this guy. And he's like, you get it? You're going to take me uh, in our match in the greatest match that it ever was. I did, I did not read this correctly, but this guy is challenging me to a match while I'm looking on my Facebook and all that crud. So, here we are in a new area, and homie here is like, I wonder if that scenery would appear if all the snow... Or, or wait, 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 again, still can't read. I wonder what scenery would appear if all the snow on Route 10 melted away. Hmm. Probably... Clear. I don't know. Like, let's see what this guy has to sell. Let's see. This is the Pokemon right here. And yes, we are. Oh, there's a lot of good items right here. So we're going to go back to that. Now, off screen, I was doing a boatload of training, guys. And I mean a boatload of training mainly because. Well, we got to get ready for the Pokemon League. And as you can see right here, we are in Route 10. So this is Route 10. It's like a wall made out of snow. But there will be ice type Pokemon crawling out of the woodwork in this play in a place like this. Come on, Draven. Reckon we'll be able to train ourselves up to the new heights here before the Champion Cup starts. I believe in myself and my Pokemon on my team, and I know we'll get uh, get a load stronger. So I'm off. See you in Winden, mate. Well, I hate to break it to him, but we got really, really strong. So. What I was doing off screen, guys, was a lot of training, and I mean a lot, a lot of training, mainly through the Poke Jobs. As you can see, I got two Pokemon at level 80, and the rest are at level 70. Now, Dumbledore was a bit of a hard Pokemon to actually train up, mainly because of its speed. It just, it, its speed sucks. And, you know, I was very much going to change up. Uh, I was going to change up Dumbledore just for that reason, but I guess we'll stick with him because even though it, its stats suck, like even though its speed stats suck, it is very, it is very, uh, well, it's more attack oriented than anything. Now, the Pokemon that I was actually thinking of switching it to was Galarian Ponyta, but then 
you know, the Galarian Ponyta that we had, yeah, defense, not that great. So, what's one slow Pokemon on the team? I do not know. Now, of course, its moves are not, its moveset is not to my liking. I will be switching it up, uh, going to the move, remembering all that stuff. Now, if you guys want to see the rest of my Pokemon right here, yeah, we trained every single one of these guys to at least level 70 and all that stuff. So, we do have an abundance of Pokemon that will be able to hold their own continuing on right here. So, let's go right ahead and, whoa, would you look at that? Marcel's here, including his friend Obama Snow and, well, not Obama Snow, but Snow, uh, I can't remember his name. But you're gonna, you're, you're definitely gonna find some pretty uh, cool Pokemon right here. Now I would rather face this guy rather than, uh, you know, face a Pokemon right here. So I got the right Pokemon for the job. Let's go right ahead and take on the Doctor right here. Alrighty. Do you have any injured Pokemon? I'm a doctor. Okay. Alrighty. So here we go. Our first battle back into the Galar region, and we're taking on Graham. And of course, he's coming out with his Guard Devour. I am, of course, coming out with Baconator because it is snowing. And it, wow, we may have overtrained for this one. Wow. <laughs> we may have overtrained, but guess what? I do not care. Let's go right ahead. Vanish Shock for the win. Say goodbye to Gardevoir. Oh, yes. Now, look at that. The reason why I overtrained my Pokemon, this is not just for Sword version, but for Shield version as well. I did it for the Pokemon League. It is going to be a challenging one. It is going to be a fun one too. And Leon is no joke when it comes to dishing out the Ga or Gigantamax Pokemon right here. Now, once you reach the end right here, this guy will be in front of you. And if you talk to him, he's going to be like, only do what you can. Taking risk while mountain climbing is dangerous. Now, I seriously thought he was somebody of importance, but never mind. So here we have Douglas wanting to battle us, and he's looking mean, coming out with his Steelix. Well, it looks like to me that I'm I'm, I'm sticking with Baconator right now because, uh, well, yeah, look at that, kicking butt. So let's use Burn Up right here. Now, I learned this move while I was training my Pokemon. Burn Up is a very, very powerful move, but yet it takes away its fire typing afterwards. And say goodbye, and it burns itself out. So, let's go right ahead and get hit by hail, and, well, let's go ahead and take on a Mudsdale right here. So, we're going to be switching up our Pokemon. Let's go straight to Michelangelo. It has been a while. Michelangelo, or Michelangelo, ready to go. Look at this guy. Oh, yes, he's looking mean, ferocious, what have you, and here we have a Mudsdale. So, let's go right ahead and use, so, let's go right ahead and use Liquidation now. Again, some of these Pokemon that I've uh, trained, they were through the Poke Jobs. Now, sometimes the Poke Jobs switch up your your move set, so a lot of these moves will be changed up uh, later on into this whole walkthrough right here. Because of course, you know these are some some of these moves aren't the moves that I would actually use for you know battles and whatnot. So let us move on right here. And well, there's another Mr. Galarian, Mr. Mime. If you guys don't know, I do have this guy in my uh, sword team and wow it's a bomb of snow oh damn ah! okay so it was about to tackle me right there but I'm going to avoid every Pokemon at, at all costs now let's go ahead and battle this guy right here may as may as well use another Pokemon right here let's go with Quackor I haven't seen this guy in quite some time and well let's see what this guy has to say I get more nervous about battles than work hmm you don't say. So here we go, taking on office worker Ronald McDonald, and look at that. Look at that widow's peak on his head. Holy crud, now, Quackor right here has learned a few good moves. I think you guys will be impressed. I think you guys will. So here it is, let's use a Meteor Assault. Woo, and here comes a Metal Claw. Will it do it? No, it can't. Weavile does not do anything, and guess what? Here comes a Meteor Assault, and look at this. BAM! I think that's going to be my thumbnail because holy crud, Quackor has learned a fantastic move. Oh yeah. So look at that. We're getting more experience points. Everything's cool. We're getting pelted by uh, by this hail right here. And well, he's going to be coming out with a clay doll. So let's go ahead and use another Pokemon right here. And well, 
Claydol is a ground type. So let's go to our very first Pokemon, Optimus Prime. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Optimus Prime, ready to go. Alright. Let's get this. Optimus Prime with his drums, ready to go. And here comes a drum beating. There we go. That's right. Bam, 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 bam. And there goes Claydol. So I'm easily dominating every single one of these guys right here. Easily. Look at that. And I think Quackor is about to grow to level 80 by around this this whole this whole episode right here. So, guess we're all cool about that. So let us move on right here. Now we got more trainers in the horizon right here. I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna look at me. There's like two of these guys, so there's no escape to any from any of these guys. Now I did capture myself some of these Pokemon right here, and well, here comes a Sneasel, looking mean as always in all that crud. Now another thing that I use. Or another thing that I did off screen was I evolved certain Pokemon that were overtrained. That were trained over in the Poke Jobs and whatnot. And look at that. We found ourselves a Comet Shard. Can easily be sold for lots and lots of money. Uh, yeah, used a lot of my. Uh, I used a lot of my candies. Extra small through extra large candies. I used them all on various Pokemon to actually get them to evolve. You know, to expand my Pokedex just a tad bit. Um, I think I used them on some of these Pokemon right here too, just to get up there. But don't worry, we will get back to uh, getting all these uh, these candies uh, sooner rather than later. Because uh, let's see, I believe right after you defeat the Pokemon League, your Pokemon or you know the the areas where you can actually uh, find these Pokemon, these spots, they will actually uh, they will actually give you a little bit more. Um, a little bit more points than usual, and that's something that I'm looking forward to right there. Now, Quackor is getting uh, pelted by freaking uh, snow right here. So, let's go right ahead and switch it up right here. Let's go with Michelangelo going up against Flygon. Alright, Flygon. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. Come on. Let's go for the Flygon. Now, you guys remember, I do have, a, I do have Desert Storm. And I actually did evolve him into a, a Flygon right here. Now, I think I'm going to expand my collection just a little bit more because I think I actually do have a, a, quite a few Pokemon stored in the Pokemon Home. So that's another thing that we, uh, yeah, that's another thing that we need to keep an eye out for. All right, so that's that. Let's go ahead and take on this uh, this constable, like they like to call it back in England and whatnot. Let's go ahead and take a few goose eggs right here by using Dumbledore. Let's see what this guy is all about. The post. I wonder just how long we can keep on carrying letters like this. Okay, so that's not a constable. That is a... Yeah, that is a uh, postman right there. So let's go right ahead and continue on right here with just battling everybody. Now, this isn't the last Pokemon trainer that we're going to be battling. I believe there's like three more. I don't know. And, well, I think I may have chosen the wrong Pokemon right here. That all depends, but here we have Dumbledore looking ready to get kick to kick some ass right here. And well, let's go with a psychic attack. And well, here comes a uh, water pulse. Please do not confuse me. Nope. But look at this psychic attack. Oh yes, no hit him and miss him. Look at that. And well, Quackor is the next Pokemon in our team to go to level 80. So. I think we're feeling a little comfortable right here, so let's go ahead and switch it up. Let's go straight to Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg is about to be the fourth Pokemon right here to get to level 80, so might as well do it in this episode right here since, you know, look at that. He's taking out, you know, big old bird Pokemon and all that crud. So let's go Overdrive. Again, some of these moves I am, you know, I have never actually put on this Pokemon, so there will be a lot of switching of the, you know, the, the moves and whatnot, the move sets. But look at that, Postman Harper has been defeated. He is not happy. Alrighty, let us move on right here. Let's see, Route 10. You gotta love it. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and switch out or switch out Blitzkrieg for uh, Dumbledore right here. And let's just sneak away from all these Ice type Pokemon right here. Now, I already caught Mr. Mime or Galarian Mr. Mime. So there's no need for me to get one, just be chased by one, and 
Well, there are other Pokemon right here that you can actually find. I think I'm going to try and find one. One of them happens to be this guy, Galarian Darumaka. If you guys don't remember, in Pokemon uh, Black and White, there is a Fire-type uh, Darumaka. High, high, high uh, a, a, a attack. And uh, a lot of people like to use this Pokemon just because of that. Of course, me being an idiot, like to make this Pokemon fan. Eventually, I'm going to capture this guy right here. And then train him up and make him more badasser or something like that. Now the only, now you can only capture a Galarian Darumaka right here in Pokemon Sword. I could be wrong. Yeah, this is the only. Yeah, this is the only version you can actually. Uh, you can actually capture a uh, Galarian Darumaka. I think the exclusive for Pokemon Shield is an SQ, so or Ice Q. So keep an eye out for that too. And well, there is a big old. Polar bear looking at me, and yeah, it's not going to happen right here. Let's go ahead and grab this the bottle of PP ups and all that stuff. And oh shit, Whew! oh wow, it like it literally just ran up to me. Didn't even see this Pokemon, just he just like ran up to me like if I was just his prey. So I'm gonna run away from this guy and I'm going to battle the next Pokemon trainer right here. All right, bring it on, bring it on now. Again, there's three more Pokemon trainers in here. Do not worry. So here we go, taking on Hiker Donald. He's looking all mean and everything, coming out with his Gigalith. All right, Gigalith. Think you're tough. I may have chosen the wrong type in right here. And well, Gigalith likes to use Sandstream, so we're kind of screwed just a little bit. So let's see, do I have the right move for this? No, I do not. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and use Optimus Prime right here. Alrighty, Optimus Prime, let's kick some butt, take some names, let's make it happen. Alrighty, okay, and well, the floats actually, or the <laughs> the stones actually float, so that right there is asking for trouble, so what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go with one of the three most super effective moves on the list, so here we go, look at that, drum beating. For the win, say goodbye to Gigalith. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And everybody else gaining points. We're getting hit by the Sandstorm, and well, he's gonna come out with a ride on. So let's go ahead and switch out to actually Michelangelo right here. Let's get it. Michelangelo, ready to go. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's get this. Do it for the you know what's. Alrighty, so here we go. Let's go ahead and use a high horsepower. I never use this move on Michelangelo anymore, so high horsepower. Look at that. Big ol' or big ol' horseshoe right there. Finishes off right on. And wow, Baconator is getting close to level 78. This guy has fake abs. Let's move on. <laughs> fake ab wearing motherfucker. And Jesus Christ. They will not let me go. Like they will not let me go without taking five steps. That's what I'm. That's what I'm figuring out right here. So here we go. Gentleman Glenn is set out. Darmanitan or Dan Darmanitan or Darman. Wait, how do you pronounce this guy? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Big old snowball on the back of his head. Oh God. Okay. So that is not the business right now. Let's go to Quack or the Foul right here and. Yeah, not deal with an ice type Pokemon that could potentially destroy all my Pokemon right here. So, let's see. Now, of course, it's, uh, you know, going for a ton right there. We're getting hit by snow or, you know, by hail and all that crud. So, let's go with a Meteor Assault. This is the coolest move on its arsenal. This is the one that I like the most. And bam! Just like that. Darmanitan destroyed oh yeah look at that okay and well again we're gonna get buffed by, uh, by ice right here so that's uh, always nice so here comes a phalanx and well let's go with baconator right here now could have sworn I know what a phalanx is may have chosen the wrong Pokemon for this one right here probably did I don't know we'll see we shall see so here's phalanx and yes, I may have chosen the wrong Pokemon for this guy, but guess what? Let's go Fire Lash and all that crud. Let's go Fire Lash. There we go. Let's see. 
Okay, look at that. And Baconator grows to level 78, so we're doing so fine right here that, you know, we're, we don't even care if the hail hits us. So here comes a grab locked. I got the Pokemon for the job. Let's go with Dumbledore, even though we are kind of slow in the in that department right there. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, just a little bit slow. Just a tad bit. Like a slat. Like 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 little toll. Like little slow. Okay, so let's go with another psychic attack just to uh, you know assert our authority. And look at that. We're faster than a Graplog right here. And Graplog looking like a Lucha Libre star faints. And bam, we have defeated Glenn. All right, we are flexing those muscles. And you know what? We're going to be moving on right here because we got another trainer or trainers. And, uh, well, let's see. Screw it. Let's just keep the same two Pokemon because we are about to hit level 80 right here. And, well, it's been a while. I'm glad we can meet up again. Let's see how strong you got. Oh, crud. Great Pokemon. And a trainer really shine with something special when they are on camera. Yeah, they just, this is true, but I always shine. I don't know what you're talking about. So here we go. Jillian and Cam would like to battle. And here they come out with Heliolus. And what the hell is this? Oh, yeah. Clean Clang. Or Clean Clang. Yeah, I think that's what I, I, you pronounce it. So it should be an easy battle. Shouldn't be that hard. Okay. So let's see. Boom Burst to... Oh, wow. To everybody. And you know what? Let's go ahead and do a Fire Lash to Clean Clang. Just for safe measures right here. So here we go. Boom Burst. Everybody gets gets one and just like that everybody faints wow I kind of feel like I may have overtrained for this one because uh how does a normal type attack just beat a steel type Pokemon who knows and well we're getting buffed by snow right here or by hail and let's see Noivern okay so this Pokemon right here I do have in my PC and this is another Pokemon too that I have on my PC Tug Togedemaru! It's a pretty awesome Pokemon name right there. So let's go ahead and use uh, that. And let's go ahead and use uh, that. So, of course, Blitzkrieg. Going to use Overdrive. Finish off one of these guys right here. So look at that. Say goodbye to Noivern. And look at this. We're growing some more points. Here comes a Fire Lash to finish it off. And Togedemaru. Defeated. And, well... We do get hit by the Iron Barb, so that's, you know, just a small price to pay right there. And, well, look at this. More experience points. We defeat the interviewers, and she is not happy. She's going to have to go back to Capsule Corp just to, you know, complain of Bulma Briefs right there. And, well, that is enough of that. Let us move on right here. We are, we are almost close right there. Oh, yeah, look at that. We are close right here, guys. Now, there is a little something right here that you can actually get. And let's see. Yes, there is a little something that you can get before you get to Winden. It's just I'm trying to figure out where we have to go. Let's see. I am looking at. Oh, okay. Now, if you see the rocks right here, guys, you can actually make your way right here. And you will be able to find another TM. And look at this. We found ourselves the TM 98 Stomping Tantrum. Now, this move right here, driven by frustration, the user attacks the target. If the user's previous move has failed, the power of this move doubles. So, that is a very awesome move to have. More like if you have, uh, you know, Horn Drill. 30% uh, accuracy. Bound to fail. You use that first, and then you st the stumping or the, the stomping thingy, and then bam. Double the move right there. So, that's just a little... Uh, a little something that you know a little wisdom that I'm giving you guys invoking in you guys so here we are guys we are finally making it into Winden after two long months you know could have just done it right there and then just realizing that maybe we should have just saved the training until the Pokemon League but here it is guys we are finally in Winden and look at this it is a nice sight. Holy crud. Look at this. It is it is a sight to behold. Look at that. Oh my god, the tower. The Pokemon Stadium-ish. Look at that. The rolly thingy. Uh, I don't really know how to say it. The stadium right there. Look at this. 
yeah, just a lot of stuff right here, guys. Okay. And look at this. Corviknight or Shadow Chicken or Shadow Blade. And, of course, this guy's, you know, doing his Super Saiyan pose. He's like, all right, Wind and City. This is the place where I become a legend at last. You get it, don't you, mate? After all, I'm about to become the new champion of the Gala region. That's it. I'm headed straight for Winden Stadium. Don't waste too much time, Draven. You should head your, uh, there yourself. Wow, I'm flipping you off, buddy. I am flipping you off. So, this is where we're going to stop, guys. Uh, there is a lot of stuff that I kind of want to cover right here in Winden City. Uh, or Winden. Uh, the next thing that we can actually do is go straight to the Pokemon League. Uh, believe it or not, there... There is a small event that you can do beforehand, or no, no, not not a small event, but there is. You can go to the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon Stadium right now and actually battle. But I would rather just show you guys what's going on here first, because there is a nice event that is going to happen beforehand. And uh, well, this is the reason why I returned in all that crud. Uh, we don't necessarily have to show everything on Pokemon Sword and Shield as of right now. We won't be getting there until maybe, just maybe, hmm, I want to say, well, the cup challenge. Yeah, the finals and all that stuff. And, well, let's see, there is a little bit of something that we can do right there. Oh, yeah, the slumbering wield, all that crud, yada, yada, yada. Okay, all right. So, we got a ways to go, guys. So, in the next episode, I will be making a small tour of this place. How is she running that? Wait, is this a ghost or something? Because look, she's coming back in just a little bit. Or is she there? I don't know. There she is again. Holy crud. Okay, never mind. I'm just going to walk away because this is creeping me out. Where the hell do you go? But yes, guys, in the next episode, we will be taking a tour of Winden. And we're going to be finding out a little bit of the secrets before we go straight to the Pokemon League. See you guys.